tonight, a mandatory evacuation after part of a bayou collapsed. Good evening, an entire community forced from their homes. It's in Bayou Corn, and tonight experts have an idea of why the ground gave way. A salt dome failure is blamed for this half-acre-sized sinkhole in Assumption Parish. Mysterious natural gas bubbles and tremors are also blamed on a salt mine operation run by Texas-based Texas Brine. That mine is now inactive. Tonight, team coverage of the emergency. News 2's Christy Davis is live in Baton Rouge with more on salt domes and how many are underneath us. Adrian Pittman has more on what responders are doing for those affected. Plus, News 2's Rosa Flores has the latest on evacuations, and she is live in Assumption Parish near Bayou Corn, where all of this is unfolding. Well, good evening. You know, it's been a very stressful day for folks here in Bayou Corn, and their reactions were mixed to these mandatory evacuations. A group of folks, they immediately packed their bags and left. Other folks decided to stay and weigh it out. But let me set the scene for you. I'm standing about 2,500 feet from that sinkhole, from that slurry. And officials here tell us that the, the risk assessment, the risk area, is between 2,000 and 3,000 square feet. So all of these homes, all of these businesses around us, those are the businesses and homes that are at risk. Now, here's what they tell us that they fear the most for that sinkhole to grow and do one of three things either encompass homes or jeopardize the integrity of wellheads and pipelines in the area and then thirdly of course for uh, gas leaks to occur now knowing all of that a lot of folks still decided to stay take a listen i'm on a fixed income i'm retired and uh, i ain't got a lot of money to blow going to stay in motels and stuff like that i don't know about you but i don't like one room air-conditioned places. I got more room and I like to move from one room to the other and a hotel room don't sound very appetizing to me. So I'm going to stay as long as I can. I, I just want the companies to step up and take responsibility for their wrongdoing and make it right. Well, I don't want to back away because I don't feel like to back away. But um, we may stay tonight and then tomorrow we may uh, Depending on what happens tonight, we may decide to go somewhere. Now, the National Guard is here tonight. They are executing flyovers over this sinkhole. Now, here is what we know. The Sheriff's Office has deputies on standby. If anything happens, these deputies are going to go out to these communities, knock on every single door to let know. Uh, let folks know that they need to get out. That, of course, is not the case right now, but all of these folks are on standby, and the Red Cross is also looking to establish shelters. And that's latest here from Bayou Corn, reporting live from Bayou Corn. I'm Rosa Flores for WBRZ Balance News. All right, Rosa. Now, this situation has been developing now for almost two months. Tonight, people's worst fears came true. Let's get you up to speed. These bubbles were the first sign something was wrong. Then neighbors started reporting tremors. Monitors are up keeping track of the bubbles and the earth shaking. So far, the bubbles of natural gas have not been deemed dangerous. The state asked the company in charge of the salt mining operation to inspect the structural integrity of the cavern. It hasn't been used since last year. Now there are hundreds of similar domes that are scattered across the area. Live in the newsroom, Mr. Christy Davis continues our team coverage. She's been looking into salt domes. Cool. Uh, see, you're absolutely right. The scientists have been monitoring the situation in Bayou Corn for about two months now. But we just found out a couple of hours ago they've been in contact with Texas Bryan Company. That's the company that's monitoring this particular salt dome because they believe that that salt dome might be the cause of those bubbles. Now we understand that the Department of Natural Resources is calling the Texas Brine Salt Dome, quote, the likely source of today's sinkhole, and says it was caused by the potential failure of a portion of an inactive salt mining cavern. Salt domes, as you said, they're naturally occurring and they're all over the state. We found over 100 of them have already been mapped. However, today's events bring up memories of Lake Pinure that was in Lafayette. It completely collapsed in the 1980s during a mine disaster that punctured a salt dome underneath the lake. Now, Texas Brine still has to go in and evaluate this salt dome. And if they find that it is stable, that could put scientists back at square one at finding out what caused today's events. Live in the newsroom, Christy Davis, WBRZ, Balance News. All right, thank you, Christy. Now, you heard earlier all of this angers the people who have to evacuate. Yeah, they are frustrated, so we're going back live to Assumption Parish, where News News' Adrian Pittman has more on that. Adrian? 
Okay, guys, it all started about two months ago when bubbles started forming on top of the bayou. Then there were tremors. Now a sinkhole the size of a football field has formed uh, in a wooded area from a half a mile from where I'm standing here on Bayou Corn. And now joining me live is a man who's been investigating and following this through the entire time, Assumption Parish Homeland Security Manager John Bujo. Good evening, John. How are you? I'm doing well. How did you guys find this sinkhole? Uh, early this morning, uh, 911 received a call of an odor. Uh, we, uh, I then responded out and started looking for where that, that odor was originating at. While coming out, I did receive a call from an uh, individual from Texas, Brian, and asked me to go to that facility where this sink, sinkhole slurry uh, area was occurring. Again, this has been going on for about two months now. There were the bubbles, the tremors. Now this sinkhole, how frustrating is to have all these incidents but not knowing what's causing it? It, it is frustrating, but we continue to work hard to try to figure out what is happening. It's very unusual and trying to assure the co community that we are trying to keep them safe. As for the residents, where are they going? We have uh, established a shelter uh, that will be uh, ready tomorrow morning at the Bell Rose Middle School. The Red Cross is currently bringing in assets to open that shelter in the morning. So what's next for you guys? Next is uh, we have been working with those state and federal agencies. Uh, uh, the Department of Natural Resources is uh, declaring our emergency declaration as, as we speak and uh, putting uh, different companies on orders to minimize the risk, whether it be pipeline companies or storage cavern companies. All right, thanks so much, Mr. John Boudreau. Reporting live from Bayou Corn, Adrian Pittman, WBRC, Balance News. Thank you, Adrian. Now, we're also told the governor's office has gotten involved. To recap what we know so far, tonight hundreds evacuated from an area of Assumption Parish known as Bayou Corn. That after some of the bayou gave way and filled with water. Experts believe a salt mine may be to blame. This all started about two months ago when mysterious Bubbles started showing Are you up wondering the about the mysterious bubbles rising out of an Assumption Parish swamp? Officials are trying to figure what's causing them. Our Kieran Chala was in Assumption Parish today. She has this story new at 10. Many in Assumption Parish say they're concerned about a problem they say they've never seen before. Bubbles like this in Bayou Corn. Take a ride down Bayou Corn. You are sure to come across these. Natural gas bubbles of all sizes along the waterway. This one right here is the biggest official say they have seen. We have uh, uh, reported on May 30th a pipeline leak which uh, started us uh, coming out and investigating a uh, bubbling that's in Bayou Corn. Assumption Parish Homeland Security Director John Boudreau says since then though, pipeline officials have not ruled that out just yet, but say it's unlikely. So now, investigators are going through the process of elimination. By coincidence, since the bubbling began, many in Assumption Parish are worried. Our house shifting and cracks in our sheetrock and in our foundation. My home moved and my home shook. It moved and I'm on cement. Officials don't know yet whether the two are related. Boudreaux has taken samples of the bubbles and sent them off for testing. Officials are monitoring the bubbles twice a day. As for now, no evacuations have been issued and the waterways remain open. In Assumption Parish, Kieran Chawla, WAFB 9 News. They're expecting to get the samples back in the next couple of weeks. Parish officials say in the meantime they are posting updates on their website. Be sure and check it. We'll have a link to that on WAFB.com.